Hey Aries, it's your girl Tasha, aka Mama Jim, aka Jim the Butterfly, and this is your April 2017 monthly journal of Terroscope. This will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Happy birthday, you guys, for all of my Aries celebrating a birthday in the month of April. Let's just get into it. You had a card to fall out. Let's see what we have coming in, okay? We have two. A couple of cards falling out for you guys. General energy, you have the dog. I like that. I feel like for you this month that you have, um, I feel like you have somebody that's definitely rooting for you in your corner, or this could be you. Um, I feel like you're going to know what to expect for this month, the energy of this month. Let's look at the cards that fell out, okay? You got a couple of them. Let me turn them this way. You have the Eight of Cups. Ten of Swords reversed. The hangman reversed. And then you have the king of cups. So what I'm feeling like for some of you is that, you know what? I'm feeling like, you know, this could either be a friend or this is just telling you for this energy, um, what you have going on. It looks like you're walking away from a situation. You're moving into uncharted territory, unknown territory. And it makes you feel like, you know, you're a little, you're a little nervous about it because you just don't know where you're going. But at the same time, you're protected. I feel like this person right here, this king of cups, it could be your father, your husband. It could just be a, a just a person, a mentor. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person is very, for some of you, I'm feeling like this could be a counselor or they could be a, they may be counseling to you. Okay. Um, helping you along the way It's because they love you and they want to support you. So what I'm feeling with the dog this month is that, you know, I'm feeling be fake stay faithful or stay true to your purpose, stay true to who you are, stay true to your path. Um, and know that you're protected, you know, dogs, people get dogs to protect them all the time. And I feel like you do, you have a guardian angel around you that's helping to guide you around and help you guide yourself through this, um, point in time of your life. And again, you know, I know that it's emotionally scary, but whatever has happened for you, it needed to happen. Um, <clears throat> because you were at a point areas that I feel like you were like <sighs> mentally beat down, um, very despondent feeling as if you are, or you were, um, you were a failure. And so this energy came in of the eight of cups to say, you know what, I, I have to do something about this. So as you're moving into this energy, I feel like you are going to struggle with letting go of control. I feel like you're going to still try to hold on to maintain control in this situation, but understand that where you're going right now, you are protected. Okay. Let's look at your career. Um, eight of wands in reverse. Huh. Yeah. Um, love the judgment card career. I'm, I'm sorry. Finances. You have the Knight of wands in reverse, and then you have your health and, um, spirituality, the four of swords in the reverse. Let me bring that up just a little bit so you guys can see. Okay, so what I'm seeing for you guys is that within the career section, something may not be moving as fastly as you had anticipated it. But, um, you, you may have been looking for transferring with the particular job or getting another job, uh, moving from one place to another. I feel like there may be delays, especially if your job invi involves travel. Um, if you, Make sure this month too, I believe if I'm not, I'm not really sure, but I thought we we're coming up on another Mercury retrograde. So guys, be sure that all all of your um, your emails are going through any type of correspondence. You want to go back and check, and make sure that it is um, it was received by the recipient because I feel like there may be some errors with that as well. And also be aware of how you're communicating to people or how other people are communicating with you on the job um, because I feel like the the energy is there for things to get misconstrued. Okay, moving into your love section, you have the judgment card. And what I feel for some of you is you are the place that this is a wake up call. Okay. Um, I feel like you're at a wake up call as to what you need to do as far as 
the if you're if you're in a relationship how to make this relationship work better how can you be of more of service to your partner how can your partner be uh, if your partner has not been of service to you i feel like a lot of you going to be waking up and seeing that that this person's really not there for you the way that you thought that they would be there for you um now, for some of you within, if it's not a love situation, it could be a friendship. I do feel like you have somebody there. Okay. And you know what? Honestly, I'm telling you, I see it another way too, that for some of you, maybe you had somebody there in your corner and you really didn't realize it. Okay. But whether, whatever it is within the love section, I feel like there is, there is a strong wake up for, for you to see who is in your corner, who is not in your corner and you know, who have you been faithful to or who you need to be loyal to that you have not been the most loyal to. Okay. I feel like the, the, the theme this month is about loyalty and it's about, you know, are you being loyal to yourself? How are you, how are you showing up in your relationships? Not with just other people, but also to yourself. Okay. Um, finances with the Knight of wands in the reverse. Um, there may be some delays this month within finances only because um, what I would say for you is not to make a lot of hasty decisions with your money this month. You need to make things start. If you're going to use your money on purchases, make it on something that is tried and true. This is not the month to be experimenting on um, any new products, I feel, or signing any type of loans. I feel like you may end up coming to regret it. What I keep hearing is tried and true. If you're having to make a big purchase, um, make it with, again, with something, with a product that you have done ample research on or that you're already familiar with, okay? Um, I cannot stress that enough. Let me get one more card for finances. Yeah, you got to be smart about this, Emperor. This is you showing up in your reading. Um, the Emperor sometimes for me represents a um, an Aries person. So you're really going to have to be, look. you're going to have to look at whatever, if you're buying, because I keep feeling like you guys are trying to buy something. Um, look at the pros and cons and weigh it up and if this whatever this thing is that you're trying to get or you're wanting to purchase or you're saving your money towards whatever it is if it doesn't have all the yeses that you want don't get it okay S simple and plain it's it's a either or there is no gray area when it comes to money right now this also goes to prioritizing how you spend your money this may be a month for you to really just spend on the things that you need as opposed to spending on the things that you want this could be a very low budget um type of month for you whereas you're focusing on spending as less money as you can possibly do during this month and i feel like it would be helpful for you because again some of you this could be an, an emotional move but some of you this may actually be a physical move so i feel like you, whatever money that you can hold on to at this point it would be um it would behoove you to do so okay moving into your health and your spirituality you are becoming more proactive OK, this is, again, about you being your own best friend. I keep hearing that me, myself and I by by Beyonce, like you have to get more proactive. I feel like for some of you, you have been taking the sideline in your own life. You and and, I, and again, that goes back to what I said with this judgment card here. There's a need to bring some type of balance back into your life. OK, and I feel like you see that you can no longer just lie there and just let your life pass you by. You have to actively you have to be an active participant in your life and use that brain power that you have been gifted to do so. You know, I feel like it's the thing of for Aries this month is that it's not that you don't have the ideas. It's just that you haven't been implementing them the way that you need to. And this month, it will be an optimal month for you to do so. Um, again, because remember that you are protected. You are being divinely guided. This is the card of the Anubis um, for those who are um, familiar with comedic with uh with the comedic science but this 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 anubis acts as um or nupu acts as a um a guardian to you now they acts as a guardian to you as you go to the underworld but it's still a guardian of a, of a sense okay and i feel like some of you it is an underworld that you feel like you're going to right now because you don't know where the hell you're going you don't know what you about to, what you're being up to what you're what's being placed in front of you yet you know that you have to be you're being pushed forward you know and i feel like it's it's saying to you it's okay but you have to make smart decisions right now during this transitional time in your life all right guys um let me pull one advice card for you a self-care car and we're gonna wrap this thing up shout it 
I should have been prepared. Oh, that's it right there at the very bottom. Well, intent. All right, focus your energy. There is amazing power in a, in a strong intention, okay? And what did I tell you about your health and your spirituality? You know, it's, it's, you have the intention, but it's time for you. Some of you have not been focusing on what you've been wanting to do, um, but it's all about your own mental power it's just as much as it is with your physical power. What is your physical intention? What are you doing physically? to make your dreams come true. Okay. This is all about being your best friend and doing what's going to be in your own best interest. All right, guys. <sighs> I love you. Have a wonderful month. Happy birthday. I'll see you next month. Bye.